my channel. I didn't pop a video out last week and I'm feeling really bad about that but hopefully you can understand every now and then life gets in the way. I do have two little boys and a mum, a husband and a dog uh, so every now and then I just feel like I'm being pulled in lots of different directions so hopefully you will forgive me. So this week we are doing what I was going to do last week, a full first impressions, dupes and personal recommendations from the W7 makeup brand. Now W7 I'm sure everybody he's heard of W7 but hear me out this is a brand that I genuinely believe is completely underhyped and it is because the only places I ever can get my hands on W7 makeup is B&M or The Range or Amazon every single item I'm going to be using on my face in this makeover is from W7 I will link everything down below for you you'll notice that none of those links go to the W7 website I found them much cheaper in other retail Tailors. So that's what I'm going to help you with down below. Make sure you check out those links as I go through the products. Um, right. Oh, my nails are also from W7. I'm completely w 7 out. They're £1.99 a pack. These are called Flaming Coral. If you fancy a little bit of zhuzh. Today, I'm also going to be showing you... This will be a first impressions as well. Um, I ordered this entire new pack of makeup brushes from Amazon. They are cruelty free, so they're synthetic. I've had so many in my basket and eventually I just thought, you know what, Emily, pull the plug here, get a new set of makeup brushes. You're always going through so many anyway and I always need a new set. So I'm gonna open that up when I start my makeover. And I have an entire box here. Some of them are brand new products at W7. I've got dupes, there's a dupe here for the Chanel bronzing balm. And I cannot wait to crack that open. I've also got three foundations. Now, W7 aren't massively great with their shading range, but I've gone for what I think is the closest to me. So I'm really, I'm intrigued. You never know. I could have an absolute winner here. Incredible bronzer, which is supposed to be insane. I've also got an, an amazing highlighter, which is supposed to be a dupe. Primers, glosses. I've got lots of lipsticks, the dupes for Huda Beauty. So lots of dupes, lots of first impressions, and probably a lot of fun. So that is the kind of layout for today. There's lots of other products as well, which I'm going to be shoving in your face. <laughs> this was eight pounds. I picked this up in B&M and this is a W7 kind of gift set. These alone add up to 15 pounds. Then you've got the palette, which is eight pounds. Adding the mascara, the glosses, the liners, it's worth about 40 pounds. There is so much information in this video. So get yourself a drink. It is a Friday at the end of the day. Well, all through the day, actually, it's Friday. Just enjoy it today. If you are not yet subscribed, please do press down on that button down below because as you know, it it really does help me get these videos to you. It doesn't cost you a penny. Um, okay, let's crack on with today. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm going to wash my face, cleanse my face, and then I will be back up to start the makeover. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> I'm sure you have. I am in a completely different room now, and this is what I've been working on for the last kind of couple of weeks. This is where I will be from now on, and fingers crossed you like it as much as I do. Anyway, enough of me chatting. Let's crack on with this video. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> Right, fresh faced and bushy tailed. This is my headband, my makeup headband from Vintage Cosmetic Company. It was $3.99 from TK Maxx. And if I bought it from the company or on Amazon, it would be $7.99. A really, really good saving by TK Maxx. I'll link it down below. Um, I love these. I just think, why not look cute when you're doing your makeup? Right, first things first, let's get these makeup brushes open. This is like Christmas to me. A brand new set of brushes, which has been a while. Saying that, if you watch my latest is deals video a couple of weeks ago these are still in the box so i will be using these today as well as the new set from amazon let's get these bad boys open they are by a brand called ami ami makeup brushes and i believe these cost me 8.99 i mean i'll link it all down below but let's have a <gasps> That is the entire set. It is exactly what I was looking for. But I'm going to take these all out of the packaging. Pop. Oh my giddy. Mm. 
Right, there we have it. I've taken them all out. I'm super impressed with that, especially for the price of $8.99. Talking of brushes, let's also get these Real Techniques out. You cannot go wrong with Real Techniques brushes. I rave about Real Techniques. Can't have enough brushes, in my humble opinion. Oh, that is a beautiful brush. Right up my street, that. Again, it's so soft, I could easily use it just to blend in any concealer under the eyes. Got another one of these fan brushes. Funnily enough, I don't know if you saw my last makeover video, I never knew what these were for. They are perfect for flicking away any kind of loose pigment or powder or if you're setting your face or whatever. Completely underrated and underraved about these are, but these are brilliant. This looks like a really, really fab eyebrow, kind of slanted eyebrow brush as well, which will come in super handy. Another smudgy brush. So that's perfect. And this one, this is really diddy. I've not seen one like this before. It's the 421. Now I would assume again, because it's such a small but dense brush, then potentially, for concealer. Potentially a highlight brush. One big tip I would give you is as soon as you've decided what these brushes are going to do for you, stick to it. I'm the worst for it in the past but now I really, really do try to stick to it because you'll end up using your blusher brush with your bronzer and your bronzer will become peachy pinky and it all kind of starts blending into one another. It's just not worth the pain in my opinion. Right, so I'm set up. As you know, I'm not a massive primer wearer. However, when I do do videos like this, I will always try the primers because I'm probably the best person too because I'm the biggest judge of the product. I know what it's supposed to do, but I've never ever felt like my makeup has lasted longer because I'm wearing primer. Anyway, um, I bought these two. These obviously are both from W7. This is called the Banana Beaming Primer. I loved the sound of that because I love banana. This is a product called Prime and Glow. Interestingly, not only does it prime, but it helps to give your skin this kind of luminosity. Perhaps this is a good product if you are using a CC cream or a BB cream. Pop in the sun underneath so that glow can come through. Let's open this one up first because it does look rather cute. I got this on Amazon actually. I think it was $5.99 and there it is. So it is literally like a wax. I'm going to use this one on this side of my face and I'm going to use the banana one on that side of the face. I am literally going to pop my nail in there. There you go. I've got that much on my finger. Very waxy. It does feel moisturizing. Right, that side is done. On this side, I'm going to pop the banana beaming primer. Their Prime Magic can Camera ready primer. Let's see if it smells like banana. Oh my gosh, it absolutely smells like banana. I wasn't actually expecting that. There we go. That's the kind of consistency. So it's fairly runny, but it's almost like a kind of skin colored paste. Okay, okay, so this is definitely more of a liquidy primer. It smells absolutely delicious. So I can really feel that it is drying tacky. And if you are a primer wearer, I'm assuming that that is what you want. I've never smelled anything like this apart from a banana. I would actually say that that side is more illuminating than that side. Right, done. Primed up. I smell like a banana, but I ain't complaining. Right, I've got three different types of foundation for you today, which I'm going to trial. They do about six types of foundation. They are known to be pretty skimpy with their shades. I've gone for the colors that I think might suit me. Let's give them a go. So the first foundation that I picked up is called It's Glow Time. Now this is supposed to be a radiant foundation. I got this in the color Honey Glow. It didn't look too pink. It looks more of a yellow undertone, which is my kind of color. I have had to go buy visuals on this because you can't open it up. This seems quite promising to me because I do like ra more radiant and illuminating foundation. So we'll have a little look at that one. The other one I got is in their oh so sensitive range. This is a 30 mil and this is a 30 mil. So it's just shorter and fatter, taller and thinner. This one I got in the shade early tan. It's really difficult to be able to see the colors through these kind of frosted glass bottles. I'm not complaining. I do like a glass bottle. It's also easier to recycle. It just feels more substantial than a plastic bottle. Talking of plastic bottles, the last foundation uh, that I picked up is in their high definition camera ready foundation. And I got this in the color true beige. So as you can tell, throughout the different ranges of foundations, they don't stick to the same name. So you really do kind of have to either test them out. If they do have any little testers um, in B&M or the range, then make sure you definitely check those out. Let's get these open and have a little look and see what we're looking at. Right, here goes. So it's got a little plastic pump. Um, I'm probably going to need to pump it a few times before it comes out. That is a good undertone. This is a good colour. Let's try it just down here. You just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. 
not a bad color at all. It is what it says it is. It's quite oily. It's not a matte foundation. It's a radiant foundation. So I think it's, a, I mean, it's a perfect match for my skin. So I'm absolutely chuffed with that. So I'm going to keep that on my hand just so we can compare. Right, let's go in with Oh So Sensitive in Early Tan. Oh, this is not a pump by the looks of it. Again, a fantastic color, more of a yellow undertone. So there we go. That is in Early Tan. So that's Early Tan in the Oh So Sensitive. That is Honey Glow in Glow Time. Yeah, so that is not as oily. It's definitely a more matte foundation. Again, it's a good color. Probably say I prefer the consistency of the Oh So Sensitive. Right, and last but not least, let's try this high definition. So this is in True Beige. It's not as nice packaging. It's got a pump. Let's have a look at this. We're looking at this color here. So the True Beige, I would say, is definitely more of a pinky undertone. I'm gonna give that a little go, just on the chin. True Beige is too warm for me, I can tell. You probably can't see it, but I can definitely tell myself. Good, I think what I'm gonna do is go for the Oh So Sensitive. I'll be back. I've actually put the banana primer all over my face because I just preferred the way it looked. So now, hopefully, I'm looking kind of more evenly primed, as they say. Right, we're gonna go in with the foundation all over my face. I'm gonna be using my usual kind of thick kabuki brush to buff it all in. We're gonna go from zero to a hero. <laughs> Let's crack on. We all have such different ways of doing our makeup. I appreciate that. I just normally slap it all on in even amounts and then blend. I love a blend. <laughs> that is a beautiful finish. Really, really luminous. Not a bad coverage either. <laughs> so currently I use my Toffee from Primark. It's a really, really good foundation. Yeah, I don't use it because it's cheap. I use it because I did a haul and I loved it. I don't even think I need a second layer. I don't want to look too thickly made up. Up. Right, done. I'm really chuffed with that. Okie dokie. Right, let's move on to concealer. So this I've actually had for a couple of weeks and I've used it. It is brilliant. Okay, it's a yellow concealer. Um, it's by their Cover Your Bases range. So they've got three colour correcting concealers. We've talked about this before and it's the age old, I don't know what colour does what. I think if you've got fairly evenly toned face, you probably don't need colour correctors. Yellow distinguishes purple purplish dark circles or in the inner eye area, which tend to be more purpley in color, as you can see. Green one gets rid of any rosacea, or if you do tend to get pimples or spots and your skin can become quite angry, it's really good to go over those areas with a green corrector. I've always loved the Nip Fab one and then I ran out of it and I could not for love nor money get my hands on another one. So anyway, saw this a couple of weeks ago. I think I was doing my range. Yeah, I was doing my range haul. So yeah, about two weeks ago. And I picked this up because it was in there and you've got to grab it when you see it. You don't need a lot. If you tip your head down, you can kind of see where those darker bits are and that is where I'm going to target. Instead of moving it like that, you're going to move it around into areas that don't need it and take it away from the areas that do. Much better just to pat in like off the skin, on the skin, off the skin, on the skin. Just very, very gently. Carry on on the other side. go that is the color correcting done then you would go in with a concealer so this is the oh so sensitive concealer which is great considering we've just covered my face with the oh so sensitive foundation so if it's as good as this one that will be amazing and also hopefully it works better because it's the same kind of formulation i got this in light neutral 4 ln4 i'm just going to literally go underneath the eyes pretty much exactly where i've gone with the color corrector as well not a huge huge amount. I'm not going to go mad. And again, same, just pat it in and blend it in. Oh, this is really creamy and light. Very, very easy to blend. There we go. I've completely lightened under the eyes. At the moment, I look a little bit like an anemic prawn. It's all about that foundation. Once you've got all that, everything else should just nicely slot into place. I'm really impressed so far. Right, foundation and concealer and color corrector done. I would touch on powder. I'm not a powder girl, but I do have this. I've had this in my possession for a couple of years. This is actually supposed to be like the Laura Mercier powder. It's supposed to be absolutely identical, so a bit of a dupe for that. If you are interested, that is supposed to be as 
as good. That's called the set it up finishing powder. Right, we've got some very exciting products to try now. The first one I'm gonna go for is the Bronze Chic Universal Bronzing Balm. This has been raved about. It is supposed to be like the Chanel bronzing balm, which is worth 45 pounds. This I picked up for a few quid. Uh, let's have a little look. Okay, 4.95, it's still an absolute bargain. I actually got this on Amazon because it was the cheapest place. I've looked on the W7 website, Amazon, the range and B&M. Everything is listed down below the cheapest places to get each of these products. So this is a bronzing cream gel matte formula and I'm about to open it. That is nice. It's actually pretty much the same color as my skin. So I don't know uh, whether it's gonna oxidize, whether it's gonna lighten, darken when it comes out of the pot. What I would do with that is literally use it in the areas that I would normally put my bronzing powder. I'm gonna use this little brush for this product. Okay, so I'm just pressing in and it's giving me a little bit of kickback. Let's just see what happens. It's the same color as my skin. <laughs> literally the same color as my skin. Oh, hang on. This says skin tone light. I don't think this comes in any other depths of color. What a shame I can't show you how amazing this is supposed to be. Maybe there's a slight color coming through. If you want this and you've got light skin, let me know. I will send this off to you. The little bit too light. I love the consistency. I love the undertone. The undertone's absolutely perfect. It just needs to be darker for me. But there we go. I've done it. That is supposed to be the dupe for the Chanel bronzing balm, which comes in at a hell of a lot higher price than that. Right, don't worry, do not fret. I have two other, three other bronzing products here. This is their Shimmer Brick Bronzing Palette. I'm always a bit wary of these kind of graded bronzers, blushes, etc. because you don't quite know what the final color is. And I think everybody kind of looks at it and goes, well, I don't know what that's gonna be. So how's it gonna look on my skin? But I wanted to pick it up anyway because it's their shimmery bronzer. On the other hand, I've also got this one. Now this one I actually picked up from Amazon. This is again is a new product. Right, so that is the Pressed Powder Compact Bronzer. It's pretty dark. It is quite warm as well. Now, what I'm gonna compare to that is my Honolulu. I've mentioned this product before. This is a dupe for Benefits Hula. Exactly the same size in exactly the same packaging, basically, is about 80% more expensive. So this comes in at £2.99 from the range. Now, this is my color, and this is the new matte powder bronzer. And as you can see, this one is slightly more yellow undertone, which is the one I would go for. So although this is a new product and we've had a quick look at it, I think it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use this to go around my face, a little bit of contouring, and then I'm gonna use the shimmer brick on the cheeks. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Always kind of gone into this side area of the face and as you can see it really kind of helps to bring it in if you have a slightly larger rounder face that trick is brilliant because it really does help to kind of slim down that face and as I said this is something I use all the time £2.99 I've got loads left in that and knowing that it's a benefit due and they test on animals and W7 don't win 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 I'm going to go in with this shimmer brick because it'll probably help to kind of liven up the cheek area that is incredible look at the glow on that so I didn't put my brush on the highlighter part of it but all of these other bronzing colors have got enough kind of shimmer particles in it to really kind of punch out the sheen it's incredible that is a really really nice product I will absolutely be using that going forward moving on let's do a bit of eyes because I've got no features at the moment and I look a little bit odd I didn't need to worry too much about getting any brow products although I did buy one because I love my Forever Faithful. I've been using this for donkeys. This is called Browsome. This is in a medium brown. I use it all the time. It's like a cream on the kind of spoolie and I use an angled slanted eyebrow brush. This new one from Real Techniques, I'm probably going to use that. Did, however, pick up a brow product and it is in their new twist and shape. They do these in about four different browns. So on one end, you've got a little brush and that's just to kind of help prep their hair. My eyebrows are actually pretty good shape at the moment, so I'll probably just follow the line of my natural brow. And then, oh, I see. I have used quite a few of these. They lose their sharp edge. I'm not gonna use that because I know that I'm gonna prefer my old product anyway. So let's crack on with my brow serum. Right, I'm gonna use the Real Techniques eyebrow brush. It's actually getting really, really low on product. And then I just work my way across my brow. I 
really subtle, but it just helps to fill in any gaps and just to kind of create a more defined arch. And that's that one done. So they should be pretty even, but like I say, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Righty ho, let's crack on with some eyeshadows cause I look like an anemic prawn. I thought I'd talk you through the products that I recommend that I have in my makeup bag anyway, before I even thought about doing this haul. This is their Socialite palette. This is a fab eyeshadow palette for bridal. So, so beautiful. And you've got these beautiful shimmer colors as well, which I've used a lot of. The other palette which I recommend is their Total Eclipse. Beautiful kind of cool shimmers. I love this one. I would recommend those two without a doubt. Right, I picked this up in B&M. This is called their Royal Attraction Palette. This was like £3.99. On the website, it's £8.95. And these are the colours. So we're talking natural, nude, but still with some warmth, so not ashy. These colours would suit any skin tone. £3.99, that's half the price if you bought it on the W7 website. So yeah, I thought that was a really, really lovely palette. I may use a couple of those colours today. I may not. This is the W7 Buff Take Two. W7 are renowned for duping Urban Decay's eyeshadow palettes. They've literally taken every single one and duped it. It's really cute, this packaging. Padded, and here we go. Oh, that's nice. Really, really beautiful colours. I mean, if this was your only palette in life, you would be dead chuffed with that. Now, the other palette that I have is in this. This cost me £8. It's probably worth about £40 worth of product. So I'm going to crack this open and have a look at the Seduced palette which is inside. Sometimes it's just really worth just grabbing these gift boxes because they work out an absolute bargain. So that's the Seduced palette. Very similar, I've got to say, to the Buff Take 2. Very similar. Probably the same. That's those two. It might even be worth noting that I have my Baby B by W7 which I absolutely love. So this was a dupe from Urban Decay as well. I think it's called Honey. So Aldi also do a rip-off of, or a dupe, sorry, of the Urban Decay as well. I love this palette because I just love those kind of warm, goldy colours. I won't use the Baby B because I use that every day. Right, I'm going in with my Buff Take 2. I want to get in there. Oh, it's got quite a lot of kit back. And just pad it in just to kind of create a really nice light base so that any colours that you use really pop. Always do my crease first. So I'm going to start off with this kind of pale, butterscotchy kind of colour here and it'll just be literally concentrating on the crease. all about the blending which is what I've said before just it's okay to just keep going over it blending it in right next up I'm going to pop a little bit of this coral in the middle towards the outer edge of the eye Go in with this colour here. Just think it's a beautiful colour. It starts to give it a little bit of depth now. <laughs> this beautiful colour here in stripped, it's very kind of shimmery, pearly colour in the corner to middle part of the eye. And just see how that works out. <laughs> What I tend to do at this point is to bring the darker colour around underneath the eye to kind of bring it all together. I'm going to probably just go in with this darker matte brown and I'm going to go under the eye and really bring around that kind of a shadowing. Now, it's taken me years to fall in love with a liquid eyeliner. This is my Eye Eye Captain, again, by W7, which I absolutely love. Very, very easy to create a very black, neat line on the top of your eye. Now, I don't do it like normal people. I'll show you how I do it. I don't like flicks. I just use it as a bit of emphasis around the eye. I believe this is like £1.79, and it comes like that. So it's not like a felt tip pen where it kind of tapers in very much. I almost kind of print it on to my eyelid and I will show you now. 
imprint the first one, see? And then I'll go and do another one and I'll eventually just take it all the way down. <laughs> There we go, easy peasy, pudding and pie. Right, mascara. So this is my absolute favorite, all time favorite mascara by W7. This is the one which I'm nearly finished and I've just bought this. It is the best mascara I've ever used bar the hourglass one, which I also do use. I just love the wand and it's super, super black and it's 2.99. This is a new mascara by W7 and it's called Massive Lashes. Who doesn't want massive lashes? I'm really, really, hoping that it has a similar wand as my favorite it is a microfiber i don't really go for the natural bristles sods law yeah this is not a microfiber but i think someone wants to change my opinion on the natural mascara brushes i'm sure because this has happened before well it's super black it is going through the lashes really well i'm going to do the other side and i'm going to come back and see if it's buildable some of these mascaras dry up super quickly <laughs> feels like it's moisturizing you know it doesn't it's not drying the lashes are still quite flexible they haven't gone all stiff and crumbly i wouldn't say it's giving me massive lashes vibes but then when you've got eyelashes like mine nothing will do but i'm going to do my lower lashes with my favorite mascara <laughs> In this gift set, they actually give you a mascara, which I would like to try as we're onto mascaras. I love the color of the packaging. Let's have a little look. So it's called Eye Lust. It's in jet black. Right, so it's not a microfiber brush, but it is a huge barrel. I'm gonna see what this is like. I prefer this one to the massive lashes. I prefer the wand. It's actually a lot blacker as well. So I've got more mascaras than I can shake a stick up. But I've got to be honest, I do still prefer my Lashtastic mascara. It actually says false liquid lashes. I will link that down below for you because honestly, ladies, you need to get one. That's mascara done. So blusher wise, my gosh, I desperately tried to get my hands on their very vegan blush and blush topper. I could not find one for love nor money. I went around six B&M's ranges. When I looked online, they weren't gonna be able to deliver it in time. We are gonna go for their Matte Me Blush. Now they do this in four different colors. This has actually been out for a while now. I'm a big blush girl. Right, let's have a look at that. That's a really, really pretty color. Now with that, I'm gonna go in with a really soft brush. So nothing too dense, just quite loose like this one. This is from the new set and we'll give it a go. <laughs> Oh yes. Gosh, I didn't think it was gonna pack a, a punch like that. I normally go for like a lot more vivid blushes. Definitely packed a punch. It doesn't look like it would do. It looks quite pale. Me wanna be something else than I'm meant to. Spend you know what? That's quite natural. It's still got the glow coming through from that shimmer bronzer. Really, really pretty color that. I'm not gonna do too much more because I'm now gonna have a look at the highlighter. This has been raved about. It's supposed to be like the Mama Jojo or Mama Jo highlighter, but it is supposed to be a dupe for that. This is it. So this is called Glow Commotion. It's got a bit of champagne-y color to it. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna go in with this, but I'm gonna be very, very gentle. If the blush does that, then I don't know what the highlighter is gonna do. Ooh, okay. So you see it's kind of slightly building. Gorgeous. Do you know what? That's enough. I wouldn't want to do any more. A little bit on just above the top lip, a little bit on the end of the nose, just on the higher bones of the forehead, the other side as well. That is a beautiful highlighter. Glow Commotion, you have lived up to your name. Right, ladies, we are nearly there. Let's get some lippy on. So many lip products here. I'm obviously not gonna use all on my lips, but I want to show you them. These are 
dupes. So just quickly, just gonna talk about the lip glosses. I actually bought this lip gloss because I love the color of it. I love a coral lip gloss. This one was actually in the gift set. I would consider them more as toppers because you put your lipstick on and then you put a little bit of shimmer on the top. These are hyped up dupes of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. W7 have called them major mattes. These were a couple of quid. Um, and each color that they have is a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty lipsticks in exactly the same packaging. So I thought I'd pick a couple of them up. This one here is called Exposed, supposed to be like Staycation by Huda. This one is called Bond Girl, and I believe that that is supposed to be Spring Break. I will swatch those in a second. Then you've got the Too Fabulous range, which is in this white packaging, and the Too Fabulous range, which is in the black packaging. This is in semi-matte, so I believe that this is probably in a lustre, or at least more moisturizing. So this one, I got this color. This is in the color Icon. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. That is absolutely stunning. I'm actually so happy with that color. This is my color, ladies. I really, really hope that this swatch is okay. So it is more of a shimmer. It has definitely got shimmer in it, but it's still a beautiful color. That might look very different on my lips. Um, so I will swatch that in a second. The Too Fabulous one I've had for a long time. This is in Tantalizing. Again, a really amazing kind of orangey red. That is pretty awesome. These literally retail at £1.99. Before I put some of these lipsticks on, I'm going to line my lips. Um, lip lines that I do have, I'm going to use actually from this kit. There's two nudes and there's one darker. That's not bad. So that was the liner in new. If that's your kind of color, then it's good. It comes off really nicely and it does feel quite moisturizing at the same time, but it will still stay put. Let's start off with the Major Matte's lipstick in Exposed. Ooh, let's try this and hope it's not too drying. It's really creamy. It feels really moisturizing. I don't know if the lip line was the wrong one, well, no, actually. No, it's a fine it's a fine match with the lip liner as well. Now, on top of that, I could put a little lip gloss. I'd probably go for this one with the more kind of orangey undertone. So if I pop that on top. So I think, you know, because the eyes are darker, the lips can be more nude. I think that, that can work. Right, let's try this fun, delicious one. This is in Bond Girl, which is supposed to be like spring break. She is. Oh, hello. Okay, so the lip line that I've done is probably a suitable colour. That is beautiful. <gasps> Such a stunning colour. Wow. It's not a red and it's not a pink and it's kind of in between. That's a really good combo. You just gotta be careful you don't get it on your teeth. And for somebody who doesn't have lips, just a bit of lip liner and stuff, you can really help to punch it out. Now, I was gonna show you the paler color, which was this one in the Too Fabulous, but I don't think I'm gonna take this off. I think I really like it. What I will do maybe is just add a little bit of this on the top. Woohoo, let's party! And even for somebody who hasn't got any lips, that. Doesn't look too bad. Fab lipsticks for $2.99, ladies. Unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Lashes. So just to complete the look, these are from W7. They're called the Wispy Lashes. I've not tried these before or as yet. It is 100% human hair. I've only just read that. Handmade from genuine human hair. Oh my God, crazy. Right, anyway, I'm going to try them on. I'll go off, stick these on because it will probably take me forever um, and I'll come back and show you the finished look. Tonight we're running on. 
Wow, ladies, that was easy. I've never ever been able to do my lashes under half an hour ever in my life. The glue, it works, my God. Or maybe it's because it is the human hair. Maybe it just adheres better. I've no idea, but literally pushed it on and it just stopped. We didn't test this lipstick out. Let's have a quick look at this. This is actually in that gift set. So this is by, this is Lippy Chic. It's an ultra cream lipstick. Again, the colors are so beautiful and really quite punchy. I mean, look at that. That's an absolutely stunning color. That has been one mental makeup play day. I really hope that you ladies have seen a different side to W7. I hope that I've managed to showcase some of their really, really excellent products. Big surprises for me today, actually, because I wasn't expecting at all to enjoy any of their foundations and two of them looked great the one i'm wearing is the oh so sensitive i'm really chuffed with it the under eye concealer and the color corrector boom absolutely spot on the highlighter amazeballs lipstick colors amazing the banana primer loved it of course don't forget and i will always push this is the honolulu because it is just an awesome bronzer and for $2.99 it is the due for the Benefit Hula. Right, ladies, that is it. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And until next Friday, have a great weekend, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Tonight we're running on the right track.